you can see the white around the outside and the yolk in the middle as well. You know, eggs are actually pretty cool things. Hen lays about one every day, which makes it perfect for science experiments. One experiment every single day. One of the best things you can do with an egg is actually make it naked. All you need is some vinegar, you need an egg, a jar to put it in, and that's about it. An eggshell is mostly made of calcium carbonate, and this actually dissolves in liquids called acids. Vinegar is a, a certain kind of acid, so if we have a, a jar of vinegar, the egg, or the shell of an egg, will actually dissolve inside this overnight. Uh, we're gonna drop this egg in, but to make sure it doesn't crack, we're gonna use a spoon to go in as well. And as it goes in, you should see uh, a few things happen to the egg. As it drops down to the bottom. You'll see across the front of the egg now, and begin to go all around it, bubbles start to form. These bubbles are actually carbon dioxide. It's the acid in the vinegar starting to dissolve away at the, uh, the calcium carbonate shell. And as time goes on, this will start to, these bubbles will start to uh, become more and more, and the whole shell will actually dissolve away. The nifty thing about eggs is that even though they've got a hard shell of calcium carbonate, they've actually got an inner shell as well. And the inner shell is actually a membrane. And the membrane inside this egg will actually keep it from becoming completely dissolved and spreading throughout the vinegar. So if we pop this away now for 24 hours, when we come back, you should see the egg looking a little bit different. So 24 hours have passed. We've got a, an egg inside that's now starting to look a little bit different. We've also got all these other bits floating around the top. So the acid has been wearing away at that shell now for about 24 hours, and now it's all around the top. It's dissolved away, and all the calcium carbonate shell is all around there. The egg inside here now, you can actually see through it a little bit, and it's bouncing around at the bottom. That's actually quite a bouncy egg now. It's a naked egg, it's bouncy. Let's get it out and have a look. And a smell as well. It smells lovely. <laughs> Doesn't smell lovely at all, actually. <laughs> Uh, let's get that egg out. Always use a spoon, because your fingers will stink afterwards otherwise. All right, here we go. So that's an egg that looks nothing like an egg. It's the same shape as an egg, but you can see now it's a lot more flexible. You can give it a squeeze, don't squeeze it too hard. You don't want this popping. And the membrane is transparent as well, so you can see through the egg and into the inside. And if you've got a torch, it makes the effect a little bit better. So if we have the lights down, you should be able to see straight through and into the middle of the egg. You see the white around the outside and the yolk in the middle as well. So there we go. You've got a naked, bouncy, excellent egg. An experiment you can try in your own house with things that you just go lying around is actually making a mirror out of an egg. But what you'll need is a glass of water, you'll need some eggs, and a household tea light. So you'll get the egg, and then light the tea light. And once that tea light is lit, you're gonna hold the egg quite close to the flame. Try not to burn yourself doing this experiment, because flames are dangerous, of course as our eggs in some situations. And what we're looking for is the black stuff that comes off the candle and onto the egg. We're gonna try and get as much of this on as possible because this is gonna be our mirror. So you'll wanna spend a minute or so covering the, the one side of the egg. So once you've got one side covered in soot, we'll leave it for 10 minutes and then 10 minutes time we'll drop it into some water. You'll notice that the, the soot actually changes its properties into a bit of a mirror. So once you've left your egg for about five to 10 minutes, you'll have this nice sooty side uh, on it, the nice black side on there. But of course it doesn't look much like a mirror. 
Um, I actually look better in one of these uh, black sooty sides than I do in an actual mirror. But to make it look shiny, all you need to do is drop it into some water. So I've got a glass of water right here. And you can see as you drop it in, that the, it starts to change its appearance a little bit. If you fully submerge it, you've got a nice shiny side right there. You can do your hair in it, you can do your makeup, you can do whatever you want. But that's the perfect experiment, and that's the perfect way of making a mirror out of an egg. When you heat up an egg, the properties inside change. The proteins normally are all curled up, and that's why they're fluid, they, they float around. But when you heat an egg, the proteins inside the egg white and the egg yolk itself, they change. They change so that they uncurl and kind of bond together, and that's why they start to go hard. So if you've got an uncooked egg, something like this, if you spin it, then the fluid moves around and dampens the movement itself. So after a while, it'll slow down and stop. You can't even get it spinning that fast. Whereas if you've got a boiled egg, the properties inside have changed, the proteins have uncurled and bonded together, and that means that there is no movement inside. So when you do that spinning action, it doesn't actually stop. So that's the good way of telling which is a hard boiled egg and which is a raw egg, is that those spinning actions, the hard boiled egg spins, the raw one doesn't. I've been asked to say something intelligent and incisive about naked eggs, but I'm uh, just not sure. So uh, why not just subscribe to Head Squeeze? Oh.